Hi everybody, it's Sylvester the Weight Locking and today let's talk about something that we do but don't realize that we're doing it. Oops, there goes another excuse. Do you ever catch yourself making excuses and you entirely don't know why you made those excuses in the first place? What are excuses? What do they do to us? Well, potentially excuses stop you from living your best life. It stops you from living your, your full potential. It holds us back. It doesn't move us forward so we can grow and learn and be successful and achieve our goals. Excuses trap us in this confined space where our, within our comfort zone and we're stuck. But why do we make excuses? Majority excuses are made out of fear. Yes, the fear of making a mistake, or the fear of change, or the fear of being misunderstood, or the fear even of success, the fear of not progressing forward, the fear of comparing, the fear of uncertainty. Fear stops us. That's where the excuses come from. But is this totally true? Is fear misunderstood? Because when it comes to fear, it's not having the information, the resources, or the perspective. That's where it comes from. Information. Information is available everywhere. You can just ask it, type it, it's there. And the information on how to do something or how to overcome something, it's there. Excuses stopped me for 30 years where I was stuck in that area when I was overweight. Fear stops us. So the next time that you catch yourself making an excuse, challenge it. Ask your questions. Ask your reasons why. The number one excuse out there is time. I don't have the time to exercise. It is because you don't have the time. You don't have the passion or the direction or the discipline or the focus. Because not having the time is basically being lazy and procrastinating. I know, I've done that. Because is it a valid reason? You need to challenge it. Because if you really want something, if you have a deep and meaningful and strong and passionate reason that you want to lose weight, then you'll do it. But if you don't, then you won't do it. And you won't achieve it. And you stop living your potential life. You stop moving forward. So what do you do? How do you grow? How do you expect to achieve and be and have everything in life? If we keep on making excuses, because excuses are barriers. They're in front of us. They stop us from truly seeing where we can be at. And this happened to me. I was overweight for the majority of my life for 30 years. Because of excuses, one of my childhood dreams was crushed. I specifically did year 12 to get the education so I can join the police force. But one of the reasons, or the reason, why I wasn't able to join the police force because I was fat. Yes, I would use that word because it is deep, it is meaningful. I was fat, I was overweight. One of the requirements in Australia to join the police force 30 years ago was that you were supposed to be able to jump over or climb over a six foot wall, which is about 180 centimeters. I couldn't do that because I was overweight. Because of my excuses, because I gave those reasons why I didn't want to lose weight, that crushed my dream. That was it. No more crushing dreams. No. That was my excuse. You see what excuses do to you? They stop you. They trap you. They postpone you from living your best life. They put you into a hole where you can't move forward. So next time you catch yourself, make an excuse, ask yourself, is it valid? How bad do I want it? It, what am I justifying this for? Because if you want something and it means to you, you will do it. 
So friends, family, out there, the next time that you catch yourself bank an excuse, remember it's stopping you moving forward, growing, living, potentially having what you want in life. And I urge you to ask yourself those questions. I'm Sylvester the Wet Last King and the next time that you find yourself or catch yourself making an excuse, challenge it. Ask those questions. Why am I making this? By doing this, potentially, what am I not going to achieve? Start being realistic. Start making sure that you don't stop yourself from being, potentially, living your best life. Until next time, I want you to stop making excuses and start living your best life.